Hey guys, Maniac V2 here, and I have another Cinema 4D tutorial. This is going to be a basic tutorial on um, camera movements, aka camera keyframes, and object keyframes, um, aka object movement or animation. And um, anyways, this is what you're going to get. It's, this is not, you can do this fully customizable, make it look better than, but I just did this in like literally like 10 seconds, so um, this is what you're going to get, camera movement and object movement from this video. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to uh, do this. Not so, not so precisely, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do it precisely. So, let's get started. Um, but first of all, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be getting this sort of zoom out effect and that um, sort of uh, object movement right here that you just saw. But um, yeah, that's what you're gonna be getting today. So, let's get started. All right. So now, um, let's do the object movement first. And so, what you're gonna do basically is um, have your object. For, first of all, don't do any keyframing yet, but have your object um, make it make your object at the place where you want it to stop. So I want my I want my object to stop facing the camera, and I'm gonna do a little bit of rotation. You can do movement up and down, sideways, whatever. But say I want my object to rotate in this instance. You can do movement with this. You can make it move that way. But for me, I'm just gonna do rotation. So. I want my object to stop rotating at the 80th frame. So I'm going to go ahead and click automatic keyframing, which turns on keyframing pretty much, and I'm going to hit the keyframe button. That signals my object stop at 80 frames. Now I'm going to go 40 frames, I'm going to go 40 frames back at the 40th keyframe, and this is where I want my animation to start. So I'm going to rotate it a little bit. That's nice. And um, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. There's your object movement, alright? That's how you do keyframing for objects. Now say, I don't like that, I want it to over rotate a little bit. You just go to the, uh, the fr you go to the 80th keyframe or wherever you put your keyframe at and you just go ahead and drag it a little bit more over and um, now, it, now it does exactly what I just told it to. So that's how you edit your keyframe. If you don't, if you don't if it doesn't work out for you, then delete your keyframe and redo it like this. There. I just redid the keyframe and it works. <coughs> so now we're going to go ahead and show you how to get that camera zoom effect. So what we're going to do first, um, first of all, turn off this for now. Turn off, make sure you turn off automatic keyframing. Turn that off. Um, go to this right here, this little light symbol should be in this little realm right here and you're going to hit camera. Now after you hit camera, this is a very important step. You want to go and do scene cameras, cameras, all right, right here, cameras, scene cameras, camera. Now what this does is it puts you in kind of a first person camera mode because before your camera was kind of like an object and you'd have to move it around um, using your mouse. But now we can use these little tools up here to move it around. So now we're, we're we are the camera right now. So what we're going to do I want my camera to end here. Oops, I don't want that. I want my camera to end here. Okay? That's where I want it to end. So what I'm going to do, um, I want it to end at 40. So now, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to get, hit the automatic keyframe button, and I'm going to hit the keyframe right here. And I want it to start at 0. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in a lot. There we go. And now my animation starts here and zooms out. And then my text rotates, or my logo rotates, which, by the way, I drew with the pen tool. Uh, it's not a font, so sorry. But um, anyways, that's how you do that. But I have a really important tip for you. Um, if you want, say I wanted to make my text smaller, um, or my logo smaller. If I made it smaller right here, if I went in and made it smaller, um, then what it would do is it would, I guess not, but anyway, I was going to say that it would animate the uh, size change, but I guess it didn't end up doing that. But for safety, you always want to turn automatic keyframing off because sometimes it will animate what sometimes it will animate 
um, things on accident. Um, so just whenever you're going in and editing your text, like like I want to change the color of it or something like that, then um, turn off automatic keyframing just in case. But if you want to mess with the animation, then turn the keyframing back back on, and uh, you'll be able to mess with the animation like this. So um, that's pretty much the basics of keyframing. Um, like I said, make sure if you want to edit something, then you turn automatic keyframing off so it doesn't accidentally animate something. But um, future tutorials will um, be on whatever you guys want or whatever I think that is useful for you guys. So thanks, and please comment and subscribe. It really helps me out um, knowing what I'm doing wrong. And if I'm um, you know, doing anything good, it uh, really helps me out to know that too. So thank you.